What is up boys? It's Yara Wins and in today's video I'm going to play a review the newly released 95 rated Summer Heat Paul Pogba. Now we were all expecting this card, all eagerly awaiting it and yeah on the face of it it looks a fantastic card. Great stats all around although there are some concerns and some downsides that I'm sure what we'll see in this review and I mean hopefully it doesn't mean that the card is not very good but there are definitely some issues and I think it's pretty obvious what they are so clearly his acceleration is very low at this stage of the game we're definitely going to boost that with an engine chemistry style but I still think it will be an issue same with the agility and balance now of course he has the five star skill moves which is great Four star weak foot is obviously good, but it's not perfect because so many cards do have that five star weak foot right now, and even his foot birthday one does. But in terms of that, fantastic stats across the board, great sprint speed, great shooting outside of that finishing, which is slightly average, passing and dribbling, obviously outside of the agility and balance, is immaculate, decent defending, and fantastic physicals. Now, in terms of his height as well, one thing we have to remember with this type of card is that the meta this year is purely for the small agile kind of players and Pogba doesn't really fit that and I think that is part of the reason why his price is fairly low in terms of what we expected because I know a lot of people expected his price to be sort of around the Dembele price point the Ribery one but the key for those kind of players is they have fantastic agility and balance and the 5 star 5 star combo. Now obviously most Prem players are subject to that Prem tax where cards are sort of inflated because of obviously the Premier League's popularity and Pogba is a heavily hyped player but yeah guys I mean we'll see in this review how he performs in foot champs and hopefully this will help you out in terms of deciding whether to go ahead and do him or not. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the clips. So, as we get into the games, this is the position that he's going to occupy on the pitch. So, in the 4-2-3-1 primarily, he's going to be an attacking midfielder, sort of drawn in behind Mbappe, and he's going to be the main playmaker for the team. So, as we see here, from the first game, straight away you feel that he has great ball control, his movement is kind of strange but he gets into great positions and in other occasions he's sort of too far from the play so in terms of the instructions you may have to specify him to stay forward or sort of drop back if that's what you wish but yeah in terms of what I noticed in the first game at least he was always getting into the final sort of part of the pitch but he wasn't he wasn't finishing he wasn't providing that end product and maybe I was forcing it too much but I definitely think that his finishing is something that could let him down because in terms of the shot power the long shots fantastic finishing not so good then he did get his first goal contribution with a nice assist some great dribbling there use of the scoop turn five star skill move and he does set up ribbery and yeah I guess with this kind of player you shouldn't force him too much. I think he needs to get naturally involved in the play. So you need to utilize his great passing, his great dribbling outside of sort of quick movements because you definitely do feel the lack of agility and balance at times. And sometimes he may take too long to take a particular shot because he is sort of unbalanced, I guess. But yeah, I guess he did feel just more and more influential and better and better as the games went on. So this is the second game. He actually starts that move with a great sprayed pass out to Messi. Gets on the edge of the box and what a finish that is. As I say, the finishing stat for him maybe isn't the greatest. But with that attacking positioning, with that shot power, with those long shots, he definitely is a goal threat. Maybe more so from the outside of the box. But uh, yeah, he can cr create these moments of magic. And yeah, he was getting more and more fun to use as time went on. Now he goes for a fantastic dribble here. I don't know how that wasn't a penalty, but 
although that wasn't technically an assist, he does create that goal for Mbappe and yeah, it does cause a rage quit. Now, in the third game, uh, this guy was pretty much the most skilled player that I faced. He had the best team and he also had Pogba. And yeah, my Pogba sort of came up clutch, showed his ability to score on the weak foot as well which is always a nice touch, of course. Although he doesn't have the five-star weak foot, he still can score on it. His passing was generally very consistent. And yeah, his overall presence in the game is what I felt most. Now, of course, there are the drawbacks because he does feel pretty slow, especially accelerating, and he has a tendency to drop back. So he's sort of walking around the pitch. But I think overall, it's an accurate representation of how Pogba is in real life. He's capable of some absolute magic or at some points of the game he may be completely ineffectual and out of the game and maybe a bit slow and heavy but I guess you can expect that with a player like Pogba but in terms of if I recommend doing him it's a difficult question. For me personally I think if you're a fan of Pogba himself or United then yeah go ahead because it's the end of the game there aren't too many players like him in the Premier League especially with his skill moves but I definitely think there are better options out there although those that are are a lot more expensive I mean sort of the team of the year KDBs that kind of level but yeah guys if you still need a centre mid from the Prem or maybe that links with some of the other French summer heat cards like the Longley or the Ribery or Dembele, I would say definitely go for Pogba. You can't really go wrong. And yeah, if this review did help you out, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Like the video, comment any questions down below, maybe any other player reviews you'd like to see in the future or maybe someone from my team that you'd like reviewed. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon. Peace.